he got me the Bible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, have I, have I have another. I have, I have, I have, I have like four or five Bibles. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw the, how did you pronounce it again? So I will learn, learn how to pronounce the word very well so people can understand. Bam. 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 Okay, bam. Okay, I saw, I saw the, I saw this in Texas. I'm praying for God. The only thing, there's some things that never happened. It did not happen yet. It did not happen. It's not like somebody have put right now it might be some time again it might it, like I can see it when I'm praying that it's gonna happen maybe as time comes on I begin to pray and try to cancel it so they could they could find it so we can cancel it like we can cancel it like yeah. because it did not happen yet yeah, that's yeah. one thing that's one thing you can cancel something that did not happen but the Lord can show you in the spirit and what you do is that you start praying for people you start praying for his children for protection at that particular day they are not around that area that is going to happen but if the Lord shows you before it happened you can start counseling and start praying that somebody should find it before it explodes so that's the whole thing and uh, you know when the Lord we were here that, that day that I was conducting service here uh, I called uh, Kansas uh, the state yeah, I called Kansas and I was talking about them and I was calling the country about the food, uh, food crisis. In a, you, if, if you check the video, you will hear what I was saying. Um, I was listening to news and I saw uh, Kansas, what is going on there. And, and I was like, oh wow. The Lord shows you all these things to come. You can stand as a, a man of God and pray for the children of God to be protected. That's what you do. Yeah, Sometimes again you pray for God not to, for it not to happen. Right. Yeah, so that is what you intercede, intercede, intercede. So I might be praying and the Lord would tell me something. It might be somebody in the hospital. It might be any, you know, God just tells you, intercede in particular people. You understand? And I might be preaching. Like the other day when I started, when I was teaching, the Lord started talking to me when I was talking to her. But I was teaching, I was teaching this. I know. The yeah. Like yeah, you know, when I was teaching, I started talking to you. And I was pointing you, like, oh, this is what, you did what you um, what you went through, you know, that day about the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, I started talking to you and I was pointing at you. I was like, you, you, you. Because the Lord is talking to me and I was talking to you. So it, it, God talks to me. It might be this, it might be this. Uh, you understand? Somebody walked into my room and the Lord said, open to Samuel. And I said, why did you ask me to? I was talking to the Lord and somebody come in and I was looking at the person. So the person said, oh, my name is Samuel. I was like, okay. And I closed the Bible back. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, those type of things. And it's, that's, God talks to me in, in you know, different way that yeah. I can catch up. I'm like, okay, this, this is. And immediately it's, it's told me that I started talking. So that's what I'm trying to explain today. But for now, I pray. Um, Tom, do you pray in tongues? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Been praying too. Yeah, you. But not yet. Yeah. You do. do you pray pr for. Okay. You okay? Do you pray? Yes. You pray. Every okay. day. Every day. Every day. What about you? You pray. Mhm. Mm okay. You pray. It's good to 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 pray. I I, I speak in tongues too. You, you speak in tongue too. That's good. That's good. That's good. So we're gonna speak in tongue for okay. ten minutes. Okay. So it's that. Heavenly Father, we thank you, worship you, and exalt your name. We, we thank you for today because you are good. Mighty Jehovah, you are awesome. You are worthy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mati lebro debro dia paratia sato. Maria parote gese gre di manatia karo rebrendi sopla radia kata ye kro bradia satala brodo soto skeberete libro debre ibra da soto lebre rata so kre brede sotro skebrade satala gre libro prada katalo repre de gesu talabadia tal. Bande cura ta segeria tala crudo sotros kebo. Marata ka sotos kebo kosotros kele brede de sotos kebo. Libro tabara dia sagala tore be. Renin tu zum branden sabra dia soge brede de sotos kebo. Rakatia le crudo sotros kebo kosotros. Gre brada sotros kebo. La rote brade sotros kebo kobarada sotros kebo. Marata sotros kebo. Go brada satala brede de go. Celebro do soto. Barata ka sotros kebrada sotros kebo. Marati. 
Ria casa troskebo. Mara kaso te lege tu brege te grigi to brede seta. Rika lo brede sotos kaba kasa troskebo. Mara ta riko brede geso troskebo koso troskele. Raka to le brede geso to se brede de irata. Rika to le brede soto le brede te la baradeasa. Raka to le brede geso te le brede sotoskebo. Mata le brede soto brada sata la roto rabasi ata la gra. Riko to le brede soto troskebo. Barata soto brede geso troskebo karada sata skele gri. Rata ti brodo soto krada sata skele gri. Rata ti brodo soto skeba kasa troske. La roto brada sata troske ba kasa troske ba kara soto troske. La to se de gesi ata la brodo soto troske. Mata le brodo soto brada sata skeba ria tala. Rata nda la brodo soto troske. Mara da sata troske ba koso to zele geso tro celebra de sata ska. Lingon parada si ala ko repere te porodia sata. Vita ko rependi pru brada sata ska ba. Li brodo soto brada sata ko. Mara da se ko brada tala grido soto. Mara di sata ska ba kara do se brede te le brodo soto ske. Ripanda la brodo soto ske bo. Mata li brede soto parati asa. Ricato brege te judo brodo soto ske bo. Mara da ka soto brede ti tala brodo soto ske bo. Mara da soto ske bo ko soto brada tata. Ricato brede si kalabara tia. Le inventi ngon sambanding kombrinding kumbandang kinzin. Ritato brede ke se tro ske bo. My father I thank you. La brada soto le brada sata ska ba kasa to rata se de lo brede se te ske li krata lo brodo so tro ske ba kasa ta sa le kos kala do se brede se tro ske bo ri kato le brede so tro ske reke se le grada so tro ske bo marada sa tro ske bo ko rapa sa tro ske bo we are born of God in the name of Jesus Christ marati kara do brede se te ske le kasa tro li grada sa ta lo brada sa tro ske bo out of our belly flows of living water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ marada sa tro ske bo kasa tro ske bo maradi sa tro ske ba kato krede sa ta Ricato le brede so tro skebo. We are shining in the name of Jesus. Everywhere we go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Liko prada tala krudo so tro skebo. Marada sa tro skebo. Kavaria sa tro skebo. Marada sa tro skebo. Gere tala kre so tro. Baraba si ataka. Mikato le brede so tro skebo. Marada sa tro skebo. The devil you are in trouble. Marada si ko prada sa tro skebo. Kasa tro skebo. No maradi aka so te grada so tro skebo. Thank you angels. Thank you angels. Maradi ke le krudo ko barate asa. Mara dia ma fore te le gre. Ricato raba sa tras keba. Thank you Jehovah. Thank you Jehovah. Para ti asa ko brede ke te li arado. Mene ka so tros keba. Mara de so tros keba. Thank you beautiful God. Para da ti ala ko se grede. Soto ala da sa tras keba. Renia to brada sa tras keba. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Maha ta krada sa tros keba. Ko so tros keba ka sa tros keba. We are going from glory to glory. Mara da sa tros keba. Mara dia ka to brede de so tros keba. Mara sa tros keba. We pray for our brethren. Mara da sa tros keba. That are coming in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for them, those that are sick in the name of Jesus. Be thou healed. Be thou healed in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, thank you for your presence. Thank you, Holy God of Israel. You are the God of the whole world. You are the one that created the whole world. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God is with us. The love of God is with us. Mara da soto kebra de satros kebo. Mara da satros kebo. Mara da soto para da satros kebo. Mara ite si ta ko pre te si kalibon ikala kro pere de virira ta kaba ligro da satros kebo. Thank you Jesus Christ. Thank you Jesus Christ. Thank you Holy One. Para da ti le rosi ara da satros kebo. Mara da satros kebo. Para da si ka sato. We are the light of the world. We are light of the world. We cannot be hidden. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Makato grede sa tros kebo, mina tole brada sa tros kebo, ka shata sa kadura, mina tikarado sa graba sita, marada sa tros kebo. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, thank you, thank you for this morning. We worship you, we exalt your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus.
Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus, because He first loved me. Father, thank you. Thank you. Be thou glorified. Thank you. Oh, Heavenly Jehovah, we thank you. We say thank you this morning. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you today. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. We worship you. We exalt your name. Oh, I hope everybody has this Bible. <clears throat> I'm going to sing the song. I have a wonderful treasure, the gift of God without measure. I will travel together, my Bible and I. I have a wonderful treasure, the gift of God without measure. I will travel together. It is all solution and the spirit. Now today uh, we're going to talk about walking in the spirit. That is what we're going to talk about today. So our first place is we are going to Roman. Roman chapter. Let's go to chapter 8. Walking in the spirit. Roman chapter 8. Book of Romans, chapter 8. Be harder to find in a new Bible. In a new Bible, <laughs> having a new Bible is you have it's to, to get, get, get it. But the old Bible, you just my, my old Bible oh, is not old, it's just the, the body that is faded. <laughs> Immediately I open, I know where Roman is. Yeah, this yeah. one I have to learn where Roman is in the book because everything is, you know, together, together, together. Mm -hmm. So, Roman chapter 8. Let me go and read. Yeah. Ha! Huh. Let me start with this. Uh, let me start from verse 1. I will read. There is no, therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to what the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit, for the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in what it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, according on account of sin, in condemnation, sin in flesh. The righteous requirement Okay, that the righteous requirement, verse 4, of the law might be what? Fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the what? The flesh, but according to the spirit. Uh, here, uh, people talk about uh, um, worshipping God. If God, if the Bible said God is in spirit, then how do you worship God without the Spirit? The Spirit of God is what makes us complete. When man was created, man was made without life from the dust of the earth. And this dust of the earth, God made man. And he breathed his spirit unto man. And man became what? A body, soul, and spirit. Now, in the beginning also, when God was creating the earth, the Bible said what? He said the spirit brute on what? 
the whole earth. He brought on the whole place for things to come. Now, if the spirit did not brood on anything, there's not going to be anything. Let me put it this way. If it did not brood on the earth, there's not going to be anything. The spirit is life. It gives life. The spirit of God is the spirit that gives life. We cannot function without the spirit of God. The spirit, the spirit of God is the one, is the finisher. Jesus did not start his ministry except the, his, he was confirmed by the Holy Spirit. Now, as a child of God, as a believer, as a true person of God, with the Spirit of God, you can communicate with things. Things don't just happen. Things happen in the Spirit before it comes to the flesh. Anything that wants to happen, the Spirit has, is, has already happened in the Spirit. You just see it manifest in the physical. But if you are in the Spirit, you can see the Lord will show you. The Lord will communicate with you. People try to walk in physical things. Physical. Try to walk in this physical aspect of life. The, 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 the news to them is that those people that walk in flesh will fail woefully. Those that walk in the spirit is life. Last time I was talking about how the children of Israel, because of the spirit, the people that got to the promise, the people that got to this promised land, the Bible shows us that those people were with the spirit. Those that died along in that 40 years, they were without spirit. Now, people come today and things are nowadays that things happen that people they don't recognize the spirit of God. Then how do you pray? Jesus Christ said, the true worshiper shall worship what? Worship God in spirit and in truth. I don't know how people can say we worship God that is in spirit. You what? How do you worship God? Without the spirit? Now, Paul was so filled with the spirit of God. He came, he was telling people, this is what you need. There's a story in the Bible that uh, a, a witch doctor saw what the Holy Spirit, had, what the Holy Spirit, what the, the disciple had doing with the Holy Spirit, that he wanted to buy it. Now this power you guys have, I want to have the same thing. He came to church as normal people. He believed. But his heart was different. He wanted the power for a different thing. So today we see people go to, to different places and they go to churches that are not filled with the Spirit of God. What man need is the Spirit of God. In the days of Adam, God was talking to them. He was talking, he was communicating with them. Because what they have the Spirit of God. He was communicate, communicating with them easily. The Bible recorded, he said, he walks in the what in the daytime with them and talk to them. Why? 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 It's because the Spirit of God, he could communicate because he's in the Spirit. He could communicate with them. But in these days, people don't want to go to where the Spirit of God leads. Jesus was telling the disciple and said, you guys can't do anything without the Spirit of God. Wait. He said, it's so important. He told them, it's so, it's so important. Just wait. Tally, wait. And when the Spirit came upon them, everybody knew that these ones are Christ-like. They were true believers. They were called brethren. They were called disciples. It was later they now call them Christian. Is it, they, they call them Christian. Why did they call them Christian? Because of the because of the, 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 the characters they have. 
the, the word Christian is like a, it, it, it was it was given to them. It it is it became good, but it was like a mockery. I remember uh, one of the uh, uh, the the. the it wasn't a, a, a minister by then was telling uh, that you want. Uh, he was talking to Paul that you want to convert me like the Christians, because that this attitude of Christ, like the, what they see in them, the attitude they 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 prove that character of the Spirit. The Bible said He gave them boldness. He gave them. He gave them ability. He gave them power. That's what the. That's what Jesus said. And it came upon them, and they could see it by the fire. Today, when we pray, when, when you start praying, people will notice this one, there's, there's power of God in, in, when you spend time praying, when you come up, people will notice, oh, there's power of God in this person. When you have the spirit of life, you, when you begin to take yourself in the spirit of, there's going to be a time in your life that sickness run away from your body because your body is so emerged into the spirit of God. Your body, is, your physical body, is so imagined into this, into the what the presence of God so mightily that sickness immediately sickness see you. No matter what the sickness is, is it flu or whatsoever, the sickness it will run from you. It just like that. And sometimes when you pray, and the, the the when you pray. You get to this. You get to this level of prayer. When you start praying, you th you just know everywhere is hot. Everything is just becoming hot because the physical cannot handle the spirit. It's so different. So it is advisable and it's good as a, a Christian, as a believer, as a as, as a disciple of Christ to be filled with the spirit, to have the spirit of God in you. When you have the, the spirit, you can, uh, you can what? Design, you can see. You are not just things just don't, don't just happen. You know. People dream. They see things. Sometimes it, it happened opposite. Sometimes it happened differently to people. But now, when you are full of the Holy Ghost, God shows you things to come. He starts showing you things because you are full in the Spirit. If you are carried away during the day, in the night, God talks to you. But when you are filled in the Holy Spirit, you are always in the Spirit of God. During the day, the Lord talks to you. And your communication with people differs. You just begin to know. When somebody comes to you and shake you, and immediately the person shakes you off from far, you will know who the person is. You don't need to argue. A man of God went to, was walking, they brought uh, people, they said they are suspects, and they are burglars, like they brought a, a man. So the man of God was uh, walking, and he started laughing. So the, the officer said, why are you laughing? He said, because all the people you caught here are not the, the, the thief. Look at the thief standing over there. And everyone was like, no, like, how? how? So they took the man in. And truly, he is the thief. They now ask him, who are you? He said, he's a pastor and a believer. So how do you say it? He said, in the spirit. The thief is over there looking at you. You caught the wrong people. <laughs> Why he could see it? Because of the spirit of life. He has the spirit of God. Things don't, don't, don't just happen. You, 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 can, you can know because God talks to you. You can see the spirit because you carry that presence. And I, as I said last time, I said, if you come here to cross of God of all nations, the presence of God, you cannot, this is, this is whether I like it, me, myself, I like it or not. It was a promise that the Lord made to, to the church. To this church, he said, no one will come here without my spirit being in that person. You go, I told, when you go home, the spirit comes. You become aware of the spirit. Because the spirit has been taken over to you. It, it walks around. As I'm talking, it walks around, go around and sit and go around. That's what it does. It comes. When you, somebody comes in, you see the person. It comes that the spirit of God comes in that person. It will get to a time, it will react. When somebody comes inside, you, the, the person might, might re, the reaction might be different. 
Because it will be the presence of God will so mightily that people, you see people start staggering. When they just come inside, they know that there's something because of the Spirit of God here. So the Spirit of God is important. The, the, the Spirit of God as a man in you. The Spirit of, let me repeat it again. The Spirit of God as a man in you. That divinity in you. You are a man, but the Spirit of God dwells in you. You carry His presence. When you are walking, you know. When, when you are walking, you are walking boldly. This is what the, the Bible is telling us to do. Uh, let me go. I will jump to uh, verse, verse 26 of chapter, of chapter 8 of, of Romans. It said, likewise the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray. For as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercessor for us. And with groaning which cannot be uttered. Before we start, we're speaking in tongue. We talk, we just, you, it comes. And as you speak in tongue, you speak the unknown tongue. You edify. <laughs> The, 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 when you pray in tongue, when you get to that level, you start praying in tongue, uh, you pray in tongue, it gets to a level that you, your speaking in tongue changes. It just change. it just change. Sometimes you'll be scared. What are you saying? But fire, it just like fire, 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 fire coming out from you. And uh, yeah, it, 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 it's just mystery. Now, it gets to a level again. It becomes a communication unto you. As you are saying it, you can hear what you are saying. You, the, the, it, became, it becomes communi God communicates immediately from you. You just type, and uh, that is a different thing. It becomes a spirit of knowing. It, it, it just important for you to have the spirit of God. It's very, very important as a, uh, as a, as a man of God, as a woman of God, as a children of God. And when you have the spirit, things, things begin to shape. Now, it is very important when you confess Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. I was explaining something to people. I said, there's a difference between founding Jesus. I found Jesus. It's different from getting acquainted with Jesus. When you get acquainted with Jesus, you, you become one. Finding Jesus, yes. You found Jesus, but not the same thing as getting acquainted. I have a friend that always is always around me. Those days, she gets angry because people can people people just come and said, "Oh, there's fire of the Holy Ghost," and she always tell me, "Why can't I see it?" I said, "When your heart is open, then you can see it to the Spirit of God. Then you can see." Some people just we were walking on the road. Somebody just come and said, "Oh my God, the Spirit of God is upon you." I pray, pray, you pray in the you pray in the room. But when you go out, the Spirit of God is ushered with you. The angels are walking with you. You don't just go out anything. You don't just go out like uh, you are dressed with the Holy Ghost. You are dressed. And when you dress, it's like you, you see yourself. If 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 I dream sometime when I saw myself maybe putting a boxer in my dream, I know I'm not complete. Like we were in a boxer in the dream. I woke up in the morning, I was like, ah, that means I did not pray. But immediately I start praying, I will see myself well dressed in the dream, wearing clothes like this. Oh. Then I know that you have the armor. Yes, yes. I know that I'm that's how I know that I'm not praying. And when I when when, when I do that, I do I, I do, when I wake up I pray and all filled with I just know because nothing can come close to me by then. Nothing, nothing. You, it, you get to that level, you know that your father is, is the owner of the earth. He loves you so much. Loves you that so much. <laughs> if the angels, when you start knowing, there's a, a dear sister that asked me, so the angels can respond to what I'm saying? I said, yes. They can go to message, and yes. That's how God loves you so much. And today, people are being 
talk to that the spirit is this the spirit is, the, the spirit you don't need the spirit to communicate with God brethren if, if they tell me things happen I, it happened but the truth is that you cannot communicate with the father and you have to communicate with the father through the spirit of God you have Jesus said I'm, I'm born again are you filled with the Holy Spirit no So how do you function? <laughs> so when you die, where are you going to? He said, if I die, I will go to heaven. He said, okay. Those that die. The Bible said what? The spirit be bears weakness to you. The spirit bears to who you are. If the spirit bears you weakness, you know where you are going to. You know where you are going to. If you're filled with the Holy Spirit and you die, your flesh die. Your spirit goes home. It goes home. It's, there's nothing up like there's a judgment before. No, no, no. It goes home. It goes back to heaven. The, the, the mansion where God, where Jesus Christ created for you is there. You go home. You see, you see, you recognize people. You recognize, you, you see yourself the way you, you recognize. But the, this is not the, the flesh you carry. The spiritual flesh is there. You see yourself the way you look like, but your spiritual flesh is there. You are not, it's not physical flesh again. It's spiritual flesh, spiritual flesh that is there. You see yourself the way you are, but more beautiful, more clean, no stain. That is heaven for you. Where the, where the, where the, and the, the sun that shines from heaven is God. <laughs> The picture, the, the picture that I see that the Lord shows me is so glaring. I was explaining to somebody. I said the 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 precious uh, stones that is in heaven is is it that's you can't explain it. You you don't you. It's not even here. The one is like oh, it's beautiful. Diamond is beautiful. <laughs> the one day when you see it, you can't explain it. So when you are filled with the Spirit, you don't worry that I'm going to heaven or not. You know where you are going to. You are going back to you, to your father. He prepared a place for you. Amen. It's not that you are worried again and say, oh, this is how it's going to be. No. But you have to be filled with the Spirit. You have to get go to a, a church that is filled with the Holy Spirit. You have to go to a church where the presence of God is. You have to attend churches. And as you attend churches, the, the only thing that God does is for you. He draws you close. Because you are coming close to God, you are seeking God. And as, as you are seeking God, He brings people that are the same to you. You begin to understand. You begin to feel, you begin to feel welcome. You are not feeling ashamed again. These are my family. Somebody you just met today, because it's filled with the Holy Ghost, you feel, become one with the person. You are happy. This is my family. Said, but it's not blood related. Yes, that's physical, but in the spiritual, you are one. You are the same family. You are, you, God has made you full with one. I remember the story in the Bible when Peter, uh, Peter God, God shows in the dream, shows Peter about Paul. Peter was angry. The vision it was like, oh, how can we take that man that prostitute Christian? And it's Ananias that went and prayed for, went and prayed for, pray for, pray for Paul. He went and prayed for him. He went and prayed for him. He said he told Paul. He said he prayed. Why? Because how do you know that he prayed? It's through the Spirit. You pray. And I don't understand why people try to deceive people and tell them that that you you can communicate with your father. We, 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 you can you, you can communicate to your father without the Spirit of God. You can only communicate with God in spirit. Now let me explain this. You pray, you pray physical things, you said physical things. Now, your spirit prayed with you because you are full of the, the spirit prayer. You, I can say bless you. Now, the spirit of God prayed. It's not all the time I speak in tongue. But the spirit prayed with me. But I worship, I worship the father, I, I worship the father in truth. The, 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 the righteous children, this is what they are known for. And we as a righteous student, this is what we are going to do. This is our life. This was talking about the law in Roman. He, how the spirit takes away them from the law. It takes them away from the law. 
you you are not of the law because the law is of physical but now you are spiritual you, you are in a spiritual uh, understanding of god when you get the spirit of god let me show you something Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Which one? The first one. Let's go to chapter 5 of Jeremiah. Okay, this is what I'm going to read. Let me read. <laughs> this is so funny. And people do this today. Let me read from verse 1. I will go for that till I get to where I'm going to. Run to, run to and fro from the street of Jerusalem. See now and know. And seek in her open places. If you can find a man, if there is anyone who has a good judgment, who seek truth, I will pardon her. Though they thought as the Lord lives, surely they answer falsely. This is things going on. He said, O oh Lord, are not your eyes on the truth? You have strictly them, but they have not grieved. You have consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. Now, <laughs> when we speak, we say these things, with, you need to worship God in truth and in spirit. You get the, but people are there, still arguing. They still, no, it's not going to, we have to. And God has shown them, this is what is going, things happen. Say, what happened to you? You got an accident. How did you get an accident? So, oh, I was driving and this. But if you're in the spirit, before it happened, you will know. You are in a gathering of the saint. <laughs> when you are, when you are in, this, in this, let me put in an atmosphere of the Spirit of God, the presence of God, they tells you something, one of them, because, uh, because you are in God's presence. God will send, who can speak to you, to a family. God can talk to this person, to, for that person. Oh, don't do this today. Just don't do it. He said, wow, well, no, uh, you, you, you said I saw something. The Lord shows you to tell somebody. He said, uh, uh, Patricia, please don't go to work today. He said, uh, well, please, just... And he didn't go out, and immediately Patricia, they called Patricia after three hours. Oh my God, do you know that one part of the beauty of your, on where you sit, fall and break? If you were there, you would have been dead. Why? 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 Because you were in the spirit. That's why the Lord could tell you. If Patricia was also in spirit, the Lord would speak to Patricia. Imagine if you were not in spirit. It will happen. And he said, he died. He said, oh, we don't know what happened. He was a good person and this. No. Just not listening. So things happen that people don't, that people say, oh, if God is so, if God, if, if God is so, so loving. If you hear people say, if God is so loving, why won't he make everybody the same? Hmm? 
Has, is your hand equal? No. God gave us a choice. He created us beautiful. He made us beautiful. He loves us so much. When Adam and Eve sinned, he, he, he killed. After he has like, oh, what did you guys do? He said, oh, the devil made up the complaint. He said, okay. And they went to kill an animal and he used the skin and covered them. That's how God loves us so much. Don't, he, he, he said he has been trying to correct them. I'm, I've been trying to correct this to have the spirit, my spirit. Is my just accept draw near to me and when you draw near to me, I'm gonna draw near to you. I call you my children because I love you so much. You are not my servant, you are my children. And when you have the spirit of life in your aspect, your prosperity, your blessing, your success is in this spirit. You channel things. I was praying and I, I was telling a dear sister, he said I needed promotion. So I said I call, I, I was started praying and I said I call forth your promotion through the Spirit of God. And after the prayer I said, Pastor, can you call things out? I said yes, because God gave you the ability. And he got the promotion. And he came and said, you call forth, it, it, they, they were not supposed to promote me that month. The ability, you, it, you get to that level that you create things because your father is a creator. It does, it gave you ability to things. Things that are not happening, you, it, it has to happen because of you. The, the Elijah prayed for rain. The same Elijah again prayed against the rain. Ability, this is what he gave us. That's what he, he gave us that ability to cause changes the, through the Spirit of God. That's why Jesus said it's, it's very, very important that I go to, back to the Father, that the Holy Spirit can come upon you guys. That's what I, after my thing, I'm going, let me go to the Father and get, you know, get the Spirit, so the Spirit will come upon you. And the same Spirit is flowing today, the Spirit is swapping around. And the devil doesn't want that. And as we speak today, we continue, we are going to continue to speak, continue to speak for the children of God to understand, to know who they are in Christ Jesus, to know their, 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 their words, to know how God loves them. If you know the, if you know the important, how important the spirit of God is, oh, there's nothing, there's nothing on this earth that can, you would love to, 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 to be in the presence of God. That's how important the Spirit of God is. It's like nowhere like the Spirit of God. Nowhere. You begin to see, you begin, you know, you, just, you know. You know that because of the Spirit of God dwells in you. You are not ordinary anymore. So things happen. I, I know things doesn't happen to me. It's like somebody, when the Spirit of God come upon you, People begin to wonder, how is, he, how is he doing? What is going on? So they said it's happening. What is happening there? So something is happening. And don't worry about it. It's not going to come to me. It's not going to come near me. And people, they notice it. One, two, three, four, five. The next thing people will start asking is, so who, who do you know? <laughs> I said, I have one. I have the, the creator. I have his spirit in me. Hmm. Let me read. Uh, let me read uh, this uh, verse five of Jeremiah chapter five. I will go to the great men and speak to them, for they have known the way of the Lord. Did he hear what, what what God called them? He said, "I will go to the great men and speak to them." <laughs> Yeah. For they have known the way of the Lord and the judgment of their God. Is that not beautiful? He said, but these have together broke the yoke and burst the bond. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
Uh, we we get some things and we, we we see it in a different form and when we get those things we begin to see it in 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 in, in when you get the, the spirit of god you begin to see things at the way it been set and the spirit of fear what is about to come or what is not going to come you talk things if the devil show you something, you tell the devil that this is not for me. It's for you. You cancel it. You can you cancel it. Mm -hmm. Said it's not for me. The Lord said this, and it's for me. Whether you like it or not, it's it's true. And you go back to your to your room and speak in tongue for for some minutes. Speak speak in tongue. As we are speaking to tongue, keep your ears. Start listening. The Lord will talk to you immediately. Tell you, you are, you are speaking in tongue, you speak in tongue, finish and prepare. When you dress, after you have dressed in the morning, you are going out, you are, you are going for that place. Oh, you will see, you are in that room. Nobody, what you said to yourself in that room will come to pass outside. Physically, they will tell you. Say, oh, we have been waiting for you. Yes, because you have said, they, are, they will wait for me, they will call me. Nothing will go on until I come to that place. Everything is just, I'm, I'm, the Bible said, it said, ye are what? Solution giver. When you when you come because you have the spirit of life that 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 helper the helper is in you the Holy Ghost the, the one that witnesses with you you finish talking about him you as you talk you talk to God as you talk you talk mystery as you're coming out fire is burning you're going there said so we are waiting for me this is me and as they, they want you they need you you are important because they know that as you come you carry life everything begin to generate the life of god that is in you you speak as you speak your life transform and it's, this transformation is light if you illuminate that place and when you illuminate this place it becomes what the whole world can see that there's grace there's grace there's grace Joseph went to the house of Potiphar. What happened to him? With the grace he carried, he shined, he shined. The, all what was happening to him was a blessing. He was coming out from this. The, he got to a time. The, 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 the king has to dream. Because of him, he has to dream. Why? He, because he was praying to the father. As he was praying, the dream, the dream came. And he came out. He was the only solution. There's plenty of people in the land, but Joseph, the prisoner, <laughs> Joseph the prisoner became the prime minister because the word of truth he remained he remained in the spirit of God he remained the spirit that spirit of God no matter what is no the, the only thing that I know for sure as long as you dwell in the spirit of God and God knows you that you are his own the devil knows that you, the devil know already that you are God's own. No matter the temptation, no matter the, the things that you pass through, the, the acknowledgement that you know, that you know, that the devil knows that you are you are the head, you are not the tail. No matter the situation, you it is it's said unto you that you are a winner. You cannot lose. The Bible said, it said, meditate on this word. Meditate on it. When you, after you meditate, what do you meditate on? The word of God. And as you meditate on the word of God, it becomes rhema to you. The spirit gives that rhema of God unto you. It's life. He, he, he said, he had the light of the word. The word dwells in you. You begin to know. You begin to, you, you know why? Because you have the spirit of God in you. You are not afraid that... <laughs> So this is happening. They said this is happening. So no, no, I know. You just, you just have this. The confident, that confident is in the word of truth, and the word of truth is brewed by the spirit of God that wrote it, and it's in you carrying that spirit. Today we watch some movies, and we see Superman or all those, you know, uh, heroes. They have this ability. Now. The Christians are like that. They have their Superman. They are all of them. The, the, the true believers are Superman. They carry the divine nature. The one that causes weather to change. There's a day I was going out and they said it's going to rain. And I said, I'm not, I don't have umbrella. And I said, I'm, I want to walk. And my friends were looking at me and I said, it should not rain. And they said, the rain is dropping at our back. I said, it's not, it, it, it can fall there, but I'm not going back there. I'm going this way. We were there and we were looking at the rain. The rain was falling. 
until I get to where I was going to. And the rain, we will start the rain like this. You, you see the rain and it has a... It, why? Because the, of the authority that the Lord gave us. Why? Because I have... I know the one that I, I talked to, the, the God that created heaven, gave us the authority, gave us this power. And when you do, because it was important for me to go, <laughs> Jesus, when, they, when, when Jesus was on top, of, uh, on top of the boat, and the whole storm was going, he said, wake up and then, calm down. And he calmed down. <laughs> Authority. This, this is who we are. That's what we do. We begin to see that. And when, when, when we begin to get to that level, you begin to know that the, the spirit of life dwells in us. <laughs> oh. There's, 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 there's uh, wonders. There's things. By the grace of God, uh, I, I intend to maybe bring some great men of God. That will, this minister that will come and visit this minute, uh, ministry, and people will see that the word of truth. You know, uh, Moses, I have a friend that's always calling me, wanting me to pray, wanting me to pray, because my mm. air, my prayers are powerful mm. and gets answered. Mm. And so I was, she was talking to me last night, and mm. she said, "Why don't I get my prayers answered?" And I mm. said, "Are you asking the Lord? Or are you taking authority?" Yeah. She said, I'm, I'm asking the Lord. And I said, he's given the authority into the earth. Yes. So you need to take authority. Oh. It is, it's, been, it's been, one 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 will understand the, the, the we start understanding the function and the spirit. We begin to know things. How the spirit, what God is functioning for you. You can pray through the spirit. You can pray in the spirit. And the spirit will pray through you. And when, that's another teaching that I have to explain. And I'm going to write a book about those, what I just said now. That people can understand. The book I'm writing right now is The Righteous Ones. <laughs> Who are the righteous ones? And when we, 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 we get to understand the Spirit of God, our life demonstrates, it demonstrates the wonders of God. We become wonders. Yes, yes. The Spirit of God. In us, that life that is in us, we became the glorious children of God, and we know, we know the Spirit. We know the Spirit, and we know when the the true Spirit is speaking. You know, it's not it's not hidden. It is the light to you. Is light of the world. We are the light of the world. Let me read the last verse. The last chapter, sorry. Um, let's go to the book of Luke. Luke 19. Okay, this is uh, a story, and this bit I will have to, this is so, I'm going to read uh, verse um, 20, 29, 29, and I will read it to 31. And it came to pass, when he drew near to bed. It came to pass when he drew near Bethhead and Bethany at a mountain called Olivet that he sent two of his disciples saying, okay, this is, this is so, so, <laughs> so people are still reading this, this part of the Bible. I'm going to say something here. Go into the village 
opposite you. Whereas you enter, you will find a coat tied and on which no one has ever sat. <laughs> Are you guys listening to me? Okay, this story. Lose it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you, why are you losing it? Thus, you say, shall say to him, because the Lord has need of it. They were sitting. It's not that they went there. They just came to that place. It's not that there's okay. Jesus went. Jesus has gone there and put that and put that camel and put that uh, put that um, put uh, what do you, donkey? It's a donkey. That put the donkey there. Tied it. No. Because he is God in the flesh. The spirit could tell him what is there. What will go? What it did not happen yet. He said, "Go for," but that. It's been tied there. Just go there. If they ask you so so so, and if you read if you read it, you see what exactly what he said. That's what he went and get everything that was said. How did he know that it was there? <laughs> There's another another distance through the spirit again. They they asked, Jesus wanted to pay tithe to to, to he wanted to give a tax, and Jesus told them. He said he, he told one of his disciples. He said. Go, the first fish you get, there's a coin inside fish. If nowadays you will be like, no, seriously. Wow. You know, what will come to your head is like, how can you tell me to go to a particular place to go and get this? You first, <laughs> no. But because of the Spirit of God has given me that authority, has given me him because he has the Spirit of God with him. We have to function. We start getting understanding in the spirit. We start functioning like that. This is what God is being. This is what God wants a student to be like. So we can, you know, overcome easily with anything. We know. We know. We, just, we know. We know the right things. It is very, very important for us to have the spirit of God. We have to have the spirit of God. We have to have his spirit. And if we have the spirit of God, it will tell us what to come. It will be our helper. It will be with us. And we can differentiate things. We will know things. The spirit makes us superman. It makes us things that people cannot do. We can do it because of the spirit of life dwells in us. The spirit of God is our what? Is our energizer. Is our helper. It is a wonder to, 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 to the world. But this spirit will know. The world may know it not. So I speak unto you today. And I speak to those that are coming to the ministry. That the spirit of God will come upon them when they come here. The spirit of life will be upon their life. As they come here, they are filled with the presence of God. And this presence of God we overtake, we shadow everything that do in life. In their life, they will testify that they have met Jesus Christ. They get acquainted with Jesus Christ and they can hear God clearly. And they will know that the true God lives and the word of God is active. The Spirit, the Spirit, the Spirit, the Spirit. Heavenly Father, I thank you, I worship you. I exalt you and thank you for your word. You are worthy to be praised. You are the everlasting King of glory. Thank you for today's meeting. Thank you because you are good. We pray, we pray for, for, for places in Las Cruces that are going through, how will I put it, going through problems. And these problems, you are the only solution that can solve it. It's not by man. The not the not part of Las Cruces I'm praying for in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, I thank you and I glorify your name because of your word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for those ones that are here. Thank you for those ones that are coming. We give you thanks because you are worthy to be praised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, let's hear the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the special spirit of the special communication spirit be with us for now and forever. Amen. 
So uh, thank you guys for coming. <laughs> thank you for coming. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, and I'm so.